Hey all, here OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at the Monster in Light 200. These are budget TWS wireless buds that sell often for around 35 bucks, making them very affordable. And Monster, of course, is a brand that is perhaps best well known, especially in the early 2000s, as a collaborator with Beats until that partnership dissolved and became a separate company. But in terms of what we're seeing here, we are getting a, again, very affordable pair of buds with a few flourishes, which you don't often find at this price one of them being Qi wireless charging. So despite being budget model, you can set this onto a Qi charging pad to quickly top it up without plugging it in, which is pretty convenient. They rely on touch controls and the battery life is rated up to 24 hours with the case, which is fairly standard or average. They claim that the tuning here is done according to quote unquote monster sound. Although these days it's a lot more well balanced than in the past where it was super bass heavy uh, in terms of their reputation. They also have IPX5 in terms of water resistance so you can use them when showering or in the gym and they should still survive. Last but not least, the buds themselves when removed from the case will last for up to five hours of continuous music listening and the controls will allow us to turn the volume higher or lower just by double tapping on the left and the right sides. So we don't have some of the more fancy tricks like active noise cancellation, for example. It supports the regular Bluetooth 5.0, so that has SBC and AAC support. Uh, however, it doesn't use a Qualcomm-based chipset, so there is no aptX or aptX support on here. But regardless, for the price point, it's kind of hard to complain too much. We have, of course, uh, the headphones just right on top. The first pocket here contains some of the user guides, and one of the more interesting things that they're pushing is the ability to clean these uh, buds as well. In fact, under the second pocket for the accessories, we get not only the usual spare silicon tips and a USB Type-C charging cable, but also you get a few cotton uh, tips that you can use to clean off any contacts or any dust or grease that gets accumulated onto the buds. This has to be the first time I've ever seen a pair of wireless buds come equipped with a Q-tip as an accessory, but I'm not mad about it. I mean, especially in the, these times where we are still, believe it or not, in a pandemic, uh, it is kind of an interesting little bonus accessory. We are talking about a pretty compact sized casing. In fact, here they are next to the Apple AirPods. They are in fact even smaller from the front, although the thickness is a touch thicker, but not by too much so. It's quite easy to put into pockets, I have to say. And there's a very small status LED light hidden onto the battery case uh, door although it is a little easier to see in darker environments. Otherwise, the hinge here closes with a satisfying click and we have a monster logo on the very top. Casing again made out of a polycarbonate plastic but doesn't feel too loose or cheap. The back here features a Type-C port for charging and again, the base here that offers wireless charging support. Just to test that out, we can pop these onto the Qi charging pad and you can see that the charging here has automatically started and the LED light here has also turned red. So taking a closer look at the design of the buds themselves next, we can pop them out and overall it looks again quite clean. Uh, they are quite small and compact and they magnetically fit into the case so everything doesn't fall loose when you give it a bit of a shake. Pretty familiar, not too flashy looking design. The Monster logo here is etched in gold and then on the sides here we also have some grills for the microphones which is also continuing the black and gold theme. Aside from a main LED light on the front, the back of the buds just houses the charging contacts and overall it's a pretty simple design. They are also fairly comfortable and ergonomic so when you pop these in, at least for me, they felt quite secure. Now the weight here, again only 3.7 ounces, is pretty light so again doesn't really produce too much stress or strain even when you're doing continuous music listening. And then also something like the Redmi Air Dots, they're also not too different in terms of the overall size and form factor that you can expect. Moving into the audio quality and performance, starting with the sound, overall I have to say that these budget buds are better than you'll expect for the price point. They do have a nice mix of bass, so if you are listening to a drum beat or EDM sounds, it gives you a nice kick, which is kind of expected from Monster or Beats, but at the same time it's not too overpowering, I have to say, so when I listen to vocals and instrumentals in the mids and trebles, I was still able to pick up quite a lot of detail, and overall pretty immersive and easy to just get sucked into the music. Really not bad, I have to say. In fact, in a neck-to-neck -neck comparison with the Redmi Air Dots, I would argue that these do have probably bigger drivers that were able to let in a little bit more sound. Now, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to connectivity is, again, using Bluetooth 5.0, they were pretty good in terms of you can play and pause a track, you can watch back a YouTube video, and the left and right sides are synced together really without too many problems. Still, these don't have a dedicated low latency gaming mode. So if you're expecting the lowest 
absolute latency when you're doing really fast response rate gaming, it's not going to be an experience that you'll find on these. I will also mention though that there might be a touch of background distortion or a little bit of noise at times if you're doing a ton of play and pause between the tracks. This could be just due to the Bluetooth chip that they've used and not really anything to do with the drivers at this point. It's not completely as clean, again, as some of the more expensive hi-fi grade buds that we've checked out. But again, at this price range, it's really the same thing that you'll find on the aforementioned Redmi AirDot. So that's more or less it as far as this super quick hands-on review of Monster's Inlight 200 TWS wireless buds. Again, the wireless bud market is just so competitive at this point, virtually every company has a slew of options out. Ultimately though, competition is always good because it drives down the costs and forces companies to improve the quality of their products. And I think this is a good example of that, where maybe just a year ago, I could easily see this selling for double the price, even though these aren't going to be the most exciting pair of buds when it comes to not having a companion app, not having anything super revolutionary that we haven't seen before. It remains a solid budget option, I feel, for a compact pair of wireless buds. You can check out more details in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.